Well, hey guys, Jeff here with Project Next, and I got a cool project to show you that we just finished. Uh, this thing is, we just finished it all up, and even the girls have already got a chance to play on it, which is awesome. Now, this is a project that has spanned out over quite a few weeks, uh, because number one, it took a while to build, and number two, we were working with weather and our work schedules. Uh, but anyway, we finally got it finished up. If you'd like to see this start to finish, check out this video. Thanks. Once we get our angle set, then we'll use this as our jig board to cut all the rest of the trusses and then we'll put them up. So this is easy old school way of doing it. All right, so what we're doing is we did a measurement for the cut, so this will face mill right up to the ridge board on top. We want to make sure we do the same angle on the other side so they follow each other. So we are going to get a measurement that is an inch and seven eighths. So what we're going to do on the other side is come up an inch and seven eighths up here on the top side. So we will mark this like so. And then we'll do the same cut and then we'll come and double check it and if this is good this will be our jig and then we'll use this to cut all the rest of our rib trunks. Alright so we took the jig and now we are laying it on another 2x4 and we're using it to transpose our marks. And then we'll just continue on. We need to cut 8 more of these after this one. So we got the roof trusses up in this section and the way this thing is designed This will be just an a-frame section and then over to the right of this this lower fort will be like a lean-to And we just got the header mounted over here and Dylan is cutting the uh, Trusses we've got them measured and we made a jig and we're going to get five more boards to cut for here once we get those on uh, we're gonna have to take a quick break and we will be headed over to uh, Lowe's we're gonna have to get some one by fours and a few hardware pieces But we should get all of the wood up this afternoon and then we'll be ready to get measurements and order the metal for the roof So it's coming along forward probably three or four weeks since I was over here last uh, working on the swing set Dylan and I have just been on opposite ends of the work schedule they changed his work schedule and then I've just been busy so every time I was off he was working and vice versa so anyway uh, we actually was over here yesterday 
and I apologize, I wasn't able to get the filming done. We were dealing with high winds, uh, but we were we got the roof on. So today I'm back over and we're going to finish this up. But real quick, let me run up the ladder here, and I'll bring you guys up to speed on what we got done yesterday, because I think it turned out pretty awesome. So anyway, normally on a swing set you do the cloth canopies, but we wanted to do something a little bigger and more substantial. So anyway, we did uh, the green panels, which goes with all of his green trim on all the metal pieces that ties everything together. So uh, again, yesterday we were dealing with some pretty high winds, but we got all of this up. These panels come in three foot widths, and we did the measurement and did got everything custom cut to length to what we needed. Uh, and so we got all of these put on yesterday. If you want, you can go check out my shorts uh, videos. I'll have a whole series on them about some of the tips on doing the screws and the alignments and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, today we have got to finish up doing the uh, gable ends and make those nice and pretty and then we will do the ridge cap up on top. All right, so again, all the panels were down and the only thing we had left to do today was put on the corner moldings, which we've got these on. Uh, the stringers run here underneath, so you just follow the line and run that way you're into good wood. The fascia board is solid wood on the side, and so you run these down. And again, now there's no way the wind or air can get underneath this, and this will stay locked down and you won't see the metal being peeled up as well as it looks really nice. So the last piece that goes on is the cap strip that goes all the way across the top. And the one detail that you want to do is you want to put these uh, foam pieces in and that way if it's a bad storm come up, the wind can't blow underneath and leak into here. So we're going to put these on now and then uh, we run the screws. We have longer screws. I'll show you those in a minute. And we go through the top of the top of the hump all the way on every one, and that's how we lock it down. And of course, you can see we're going to go through the cap strip, through the foam, through the hump, and then down into the wood. And we've got longer screws that are all color coordinated to do that. Well guys, that was a fantastic project. It was actually a lot of fun to do. And one of the things that made it so great was getting to do it side by side with my youngest boy. Uh, really enjoyed doing this project. And it's really cool to see my twin girls already playing in it and having a ball. So just a great, great experience all the way around. Listen guys, um, one of the things I wanna do is here, I wanna, I'll put this up in the end screen. As we were going through this process, when I got the panels made, the green aluminum panels that go up on top, uh, I was able to do a tour through the plant where they're manufactured down at Max Kendall. And I was able to go through, and I did a video uh, of the panels going from the round rollers that it's on, the flat aluminum, and how it runs through these hundreds of rollers that puts the bins in it and actually makes these panels finished product. Uh, guys, please check that out. You'll be fascinated to see that. Again, I'll include that. Also, as we were going through this project, I made quite a few shorts, uh, video shorts, on little tech tips uh, on doing the process, and hopefully that'll help. So please be sure to go check out Project Next One and go visit those and check those out. I think you'll enjoy them. Guys, remember here at Project Next One, there is always another project coming, so we'll have some more videos coming up soon. For now, guys, you guys take care. Stay safe and we'll catch you later.